Hello and welcome, all you squeegee slingers, you water-fed pole wiggling wagglers. How are you all doing? Nice to have you here on the Window Cleaning Resource YouTube video once again. So today we're going to be talking about two things. One is a work setup, a work method that I'd like you guys who are not already doing this to give it a try. And the other thing is why do I have an angle adapter reversed back on itself? Strange question for those of you who've maybe not used it before. So that's all coming up today on Window Cleaning Resource on YouTube. Okay folks, so today's video we're going to be talking about those small kinds of jobs. Those jobs that maybe only take you sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes, something in and around that. Now for those kind of jobs, for you, this is primarily for you guys who carry around a bucket with you all the time. Here's a, maybe a different thing to maybe try out. And especially if you're using things like the Mormon liquidator, this is going to help with the squeegee's performance. Now what I have here, I've got two Mormon side kits on my left hand side. Now you don't have to have these, but I just primarily like these because it's a good setup and they hold two bottles. Okay, so why have I got two bottles? Well, the first one is going to be my water. Now there's no water in it at the moment because uh, I'm not working today, but there usually would be some water in here. And this one is the detergent. Okay, so normally what I do I have my applicator and squeegees on my right hand side so it becomes kind of force of habit that if I need to top up uh, the applicator with water what I'll do is with the right hand I've already grabbed here and the left hand goes for the water okay so they come out at the same time and then you apply the water you know or you can put it inside the uh, mop if you prefer to do it that way and as you're shaking off the excess this hand's going for the detergent and then you just apply your detergent, okay? And that just goes nice and neat back there. And now, why would you want to do it this method? Well, applying the water and detergent at the same time onto your applicator is gonna give you a better consistency on the glass. Now, I appreciate that in warmer climates, soap dries out quicker, so you have to work a bit faster. But obviously, you'll need to maybe have your bucket around with you if it's really quite hot weather, so you've got your applicator drenched uh, and that way it'll work fine. But if you're kind of normal temperatures or even a colder climate like me, where basically when you first open up the car or the van doors and your way to start that first job that's only maybe 15, 20 minutes, here's a suggestion. Just dunk your applicator into the bucket and leave the bucket in the vehicle. Then from then on, use your bottle just to top up your applicator as you go around. Now for bigger jobs, now these are jobs maybe half an hour to an hour, two hours, three hours. You're probably gonna need to take your bucket with you if you do all traditional. But if it's just a 15, 20, 25 minute job, something like that, where you've maybe only got, you know, between sort of 10 and 30 windows to do, something in and around that, it's quite nice just to have your bottle of water on you so it's less weight to carry around. You don't have to pick your bucket up and down when you're moving from section to section. And as soon as you need it, it's right there. So if you're at a window and you think, oh, my applicator is a little bit dry, you can just quickly grab your water, apply the water to the applicator. As you're shaking off the excess, out comes the detergent, bish, bash, bosh, job done. And you're ready to rock and roll again. So there's none of this, you know, I've just run out of water. I need to walk back to the bucket, which I've maybe left, you know, hopefully it's not too far away, but maybe you've left it, you know, 20, 30, 40 feet or more away from you. And it takes a little bit of time just to walk over there, dunk it in again, back to where you were going. So just imagine you've done 10 windows or something. Now this is capable of doing at least that, if not more with the Mormon applicator sleeve. But imagine you've done about that many windows and you've run out of water. Oh no, what do you do? So you're at that window, you've run out, you just apply the water, you apply the detergent and away you go again. No need to walk away and go and dunk this applicator. Okay, so that's my top tip for you. Try it out, see what you think. You'll get better consistency on the glass and it'll save you a little bit of time walking to and fro. So these are for jobs where there may be maintenance cleans. I'll stress that for really dirty jobs, maybe first cleans, you'll probably want your bucket there so that you can dip that applicator in the bucket and it's washing off all that grit and all sorts of stuff that can get on your applicator and then you can apply the detergent again to the applicator. But for regular jobs, things that are maybe once per month 
or even more frequent than that, try using just a little squirt bottle and have them on your, well, if you're right-handed with your applicator, have the, the detergent and the water on your opposite side. So you can grab them both at the same time and quickly just apply what you need to your applicator. So that's my top tip for you. Give it a try, see what you think, and leave in the comments below if you've tried it, what your thoughts are. So that is for applicator uh, use, okay? The other thing I was gonna show you, what on earth is this for? Well, normally you've usually got the angle adapter goes that way to get over ledges and such like. But having the angle adapter, this is a wagtail one um, that I've just kind of adapted to fit onto here. Um, you can get other angle adapters as well, but uh, I just had this one lying around, so I thought might as well use it. But uh, it doesn't actually fit the Mormon accelerator, so I've had to attach it by just popping a wee screw in there. This squeegee stays on the pole all the time anyway. Um, I only take the channel out, obviously, just to change the rubber, and that's it. So why would you have it at this angle? Well, for you guys that don't know, normally what you use this for is when you're doing windows that are straight out in front of you. So basically, if this had no angle on it, and you're trying to do those windows out in front of you, you would find that the squeegee was at the wrong angle to try and fan down the window and close out. So what I'll do is we'll grab a little window over here that's round about level with my waist, and we'll show you what we mean. Okay guys, so here we have the kitchen window. So we're gonna just demonstrate, if maybe if you were in a customer's house and you couldn't quite reach to the window to be able to squeegee it down in hand and you needed to use a pole, this reversed angle will allow you to close out to the bottom of the window uh, completely. So if you can imagine, well maybe you should demonstrate this. If I put this into a steeper angle just to demonstrate what it would be like on a straight pole, I'll just bring this up for you. When you come down to do the window, you can see there the squeegee is completely horizontal, which means when you come down further, it's gonna be steeped the wrong way, you know? So by creating this reverse angle and then having the squeegee set to round about, well, this one's 10 degrees, but you can use a zero degree squeegee if you have one. So we'll put this back into 10 degrees. So it's basically com the squeegee is completely straight and the reverse angle is bringing the squeegee back towards me. And this will allow me to close out completely. Now we're gonna demonstrate on this window here what I mean, and we're also gonna try and squeegee round my kitchen sink tap, which is kind of awkwardly in the way. But who doesn't like a challenge? Okay, so cut in, and then we'll come down and get around that tap and back up again and do the other side. Back up, so we've got our tower of solution and we'll just fan it down. Now here's the important part, because it's got the reverse angle, do it nice and slowly, you can see the squeegees at the correct angle to fan all the way down to the bottom and close out. So we'll just show you that there. So you can see that the squeegee is at the perfect angle there. So when I was holding the pole, it's like that, perfect. Yeah, so if it was at any other angle, if it was on a straight pole, your squeegee would be more like that, which is the wrong angle. So try that guys, have the reverse angle and a zero degree squeegee, or indeed the Mormon accelerator set to 10 degrees, and you'll be able to fan down windows that are directly in front of you. So there we are folks, that is why you would have a reversed angle adapter. Save it for those times where you've got windows that are straight out in front of you and you want to be able to clean those windows effectively from top all the way to the bottom. So there may be jobs where you're on maybe a walkway and there's windows out over maybe a, maybe a reception entrance, something like that, and the windows are directly in front of you and you want to be able to fan them all the way down to the bottom. So that'll enable you to do that. So give it a try, buy an angle adapter for your traditional pole, set it back up on yourself round about that kind of angle there, play around with it, try and see what works for you, and then have a squeegee that's in either, well, the Mormon accelerator, 10 degrees, or even perhaps something in zero degrees will work fine as well. Okay, guys, so give that a try. So that's why I've got that. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon underneath this video and you'll be notified of all the window cleaning resource videos that are gonna be coming your way in 2018, guys. 
Thank you very much for tuning in. It is much appreciated. I'm Tradman and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.